Welcome to the Aero General Service YouTube channel. I'm your host, Corey Bartolotti, and in today's video, we're gonna be handling a flooding situation that continuously occurs on the right side of this home. Now, this catch basin here is actually from the neighbor. The neighbor installed that one. But what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be running this gutter downspout into a downspout drain. And as we get further back here, you'll see that the AC drip line is just kind of hooked up with a flexible pipe here. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna re-divert that into another catch basin that's gonna be in a low spot right where I'm walking through. And then in the back of the home, we're gonna be installing a secondary downspout on the gutter back here, because this entire length of the home here has a gutter, but it only has one downspout, which was the one in the front. So we're gonna install a downspout there, and then this micro channel drain for the pool deck, we're gonna go ahead and get that draining into a small circle drain. So let's go ahead and get started here. So now the first thing that we go ahead and do is we spray paint our lines on the ground so we know exactly where to dig so we can get a nice, clean, straight trench. This makes laying your drainage pipe a whole lot easier. Now, while one of us is starting to dig the trench in the front, I'm actually gonna be working in the back to get this gutter downspout built and installed. That way, by the time we get the trench dug, we'll be able to lay the drain pipe right in and get it hooked into this gutter. All right, so now that the downspout is installed, I'm just gonna leave it stubbed out at the bottom with no elbow, so we can just drop it right down to the pipe. And I'm helping dig the trench, that way we can get it done quicker. Uh, it was pretty muddy back here and there was also a water line that we had to run parallel to so we're going to be having to kind of lift that up to be able to get the drain pipe in that you'll be seeing here in a minute as the video progresses but we got most of the trench roughed out here as you can see there wasn't a whole lot of place to put the dirt so we kind of just had to put it uh, towards the side towards the left against the house um, the catch basin was going back there in that low spot that i had pointed to and it was pretty tight quarters working in here because we had the fence on the right hand side and then we had the house on the left so as you can see i already kind of have the drain uh, being built and i'm leveling it out as i go to make sure that the bubble is correct and i have enough fall on my pipe to be able to carry water efficiently to the front all right now as you can see i'm getting the catch basin installed here and there's that pipe that had to get lifted up. So we're actually going to be running our drainage line underneath those water lines. That way we can continue to get the correct amount of fall that we need. And unfortunately, at the end of this run, after we went underneath the sidewalk, we will have to use a percolation tee to get this system to drain properly. There was no way that we could daylight the pipe with the, the pipe just exiting straight out and just there was just no way to do it once we went underneath that sidewalk because we had to increase the fall by a lot and as you can see here where we went underneath these water lines we actually had to use two 22 and a half to make this bend to go around uh, some concrete and some other debris and stuff that was in the ground underneath that AC uh, air conditioned pad because we weren't about to start trying to break that up. It just, it would have been way too much of a mess. And with the AC there, there was just no real point to chance that when we could just simply go around it with a couple 22 and a half. All right, so now at the beginning of this drain run where I connected this gutter downspout in that was installed, the best way to get this micro channel drain to drain properly was to just put a small circle drain there. That way we got the correct amount of fall in the pipe and if that micro channel drain ever does need to be cleaned out in the future, it's already open and accessible to go ahead and either snake it or run a jetter down it. So now I want to go ahead and take a second to talk about these leaf blockers that are installed on these gutters. Now they look really nice and they were definitely installed properly, but the problem that I've seen with leaf blockers is that in heavy rains, they actually hinder the gutter's performance and they cause the water to fly over the gutter instead of go in, into it like it's supposed to. On light rains, you don't have to worry about this because the water's not traveling quick enough. But on heavy rains is where you're gonna have issues and the water could actually pour over the gutters instead of going inside of them. So just keep that in mind if you're thinking about getting leaf blockers on your gutters. 
So now that we got the drainage line buried up and graded out, it's time to just put the finishing touches on it. So at the beginning of the drain run, we went ahead and we just put drainage rock around it just to help from erosion and to keep things from growing around where that circle drain is and that micro channel drain dumps into. So that should work out perfect there. We got the garden hose running. That way we can get the water to the front, test it out, make sure everything's working properly. We got the ground graded out and everything packed in around the drainage pipe so it doesn't move. We went ahead and we put some drainage rock around this catch basin as well. And we ran the AC drip line right to that catch basin so it can just drip into there instead of causing this muddy mess here uh, when it drains and puddles up. So that's fixed. And for this front gutter, we had to leave the pipe kind of above ground. That way we could get the correct angle to go into the main drain line. We wanted to sink it lower, but if we would have sunk it lower, then the pitch would have been off and the gutter would have been backfilling. So it's better to have the gutter flowing correctly than to be backflowing on itself. So the client wanted a pop-up emitter in the front. Usually I'm against these. I always just put a grate and leave it as a grate. I think it works a lot better. Um, but the client wants a pop-up emitter. We'll go ahead and install a pop-up emitter. So we got the pop-up emitter installed. We got a little bit of drainage rock on the front and we're just gonna go ahead and wait for that water to start traveling towards the front and watch it drain. As you can see, it's kind of already wet around here because we have had it running. So, um, you know, it's gonna take a second for this drain line to get the water to the front because it's so long and it's just a garden hose that's putting water into it. And the way this is gonna work is the water is gonna have to fill up the ground right here and percolate out. And then once this ground becomes saturated, then the water will start flowing up and out of the pop-up emitter. Now guys, another thing to keep in mind um, while you're watching these videos is not everything is filmed consecutively as I'm discussing this stuff. Like for instance, with it being wet around there, you know, I had gone and turned the hose off. We did a little bit more work and then I started filming and turned the hose back on to allow the system to continue to run. So we actually had this system running before I even started to film. So I just want you guys to keep that in mind because uh, you gotta remember, I'm filming while we're working and, and keeping an eye on everything. So, you know, it's not always consecutive when I'm talking and narrating compared to when I'm filming. All right, so the system is working good. As you can see, the water is traveling out onto the gutter just like it's designed to do. And that's probably with the hose running for about five minutes. Um, so yeah, I think that just about does it for this job. Now, if you live in the Tampa Bay area or surrounding counties and you're experiencing rainwater intrusion into your home or a floody, soggy yard, give us a call. We can come out there and assess the situation and help design a stormwater drainage system that fits your needs and will solve your problems. And until next time, this is Aero General Services signing off.